this go on for as long as we have when he's been building up military across the border and we waited and waited and waited and we're still waiting and uh, Putin is not waiting for anything. He's taking what he wants and everybody is standing by and letting him and it has to stop. I'm out here tonight or today because my wife is uh, Ukrainian. My family's uh, half my family's Ukrainian. I've got friends there. I've got, I've got friends. There. I've got friends there, but you know, when you got grandmas taking up the AK-47 to fight the Russians, I mean that's why I'm here. The Ukrainian people are good people. Russian people are good people. They're just bad leaders. And uh, I'm out here supporting the Ukrainian community. Support my wife. My mother-in-law's here. She doesn't have a home to go to now. She was going to go back in two weeks. It's hard to go back when your house is gone, when there's no electricity, when there's when there's when your friends are dead. So that's why I'm here. That's why all these people are here because the brave the brave people of Ukraine. I believe and I hope the Ukrainian will will win because they have uh, warriors, best warriors in Europe. I believe that people are. They, they they believe in they they just protect their their cell uh, they uh, their country their life they not fight they fight just just to protect protect their uh, place where they live. <laughs> Well, the first, the first day of the bombing, uh, my uh, sister-in-law called us and sent us a video and just horrific, horrific shelling. Uh, very scared. Uh, they had to hide in the basement under the house. Uh, electricity was cut off. They could hear tanks, um, and they didn't come out for three days. So it's since gotten a little bit better, but uh, then another wave of tanks has come through. So uh, it's a very bad situation. Um, but the people of Ukraine are fighting hard, and they're fighting against the biggest, one of the biggest countries in the world, with one of the biggest armies in the world. And uh, it's hard to see my country stand by after I've been deployed all over the world, and I've served my country, and I've defended the weak. Why we're not doing that now, I don't understand. That's, that's why I'm here. He threatens the whole world. Yeah, now, now he's threatening we everything. Yeah, now he's threatening nuclear weapons. Now what? This is the whole world at, at bay now. When, when does it stop? I mean, who is going to stand up and say enough is enough? I have no idea. I don't want a, a, a world war, but that does look like what Putin is looking to get. He wants what he wants. He's psychologically unstable, and we don't know what's going to happen. We have to do what we have to do. We are against the war. I have sister and I have nephews and my husband's uh, family and lots of lots of friends there and they're hiding in the bunkers and they don't know what, what to do. It's, somebody has to, to stop me. And so right now, like I'm sure a lot of your family is in Ukraine. Like, what's their current situation? What are they telling you? They, they, some of them fighting, some of them moved to the, to the other place. Some of them stayed in a, in a, uh, you know, a basement, like a uh, uh, parking lot. They are not home because it's, uh, it's not, not uh, safe to be home. So it's war, really, really, it's, it's war. I think if, I think if the brave Ukrainian people keep fighting, Putin's going to figure some way out, like, oh, I've, I've accomplished my mission or whatever. And he's getting whooped over there. He's getting beat by some people that are really tough and they're fighting for their homeland, just like you would in whatever country you're in. Um, so I see that happening. I see uh, a guerrilla warfare for several years. 
or I see Putin even escalating into uh, further conflict to involve other countries. So it's any of the ways are not good except for a total withdrawal by the Russians right now. And we can't wait. We can't. No more waiting. We can't wait for him to say, I'm going to give a war. He's doing the war. He started it a few years ago. It's not going to stop now. He wants it all. And one more thing. We would like to ask our government to stop Russian propaganda here. All channels that, that lie all day about Ukraine, what, how bad they are, what they're doing. And Ukraine is a peaceful country and they want to control. So this is a big issue to stop propaganda here, Russian propaganda. Quit worrying about your wallet, quit worrying about your pocketbook, and worry about those little kids, those mothers, those brothers, the ones that are fighting for the country, the ones that we should be defending and helping. That's what you need to remember. If it hurts in your pocketbook, oh well, you gotta pay a dollar more for gas, I'll pay it to save Ukraine. <laughs> he was born here, but he's against war. Yes, Mark? Yes. He's against war. And I have three years old and 15 years old and everybody. And this is our friend. Yeah, there's many here, many here. Putin can't beat us. Our kids, everybody is against it, against war. Yeah, give up Putin, you can't beat us. trying to stop it. We cannot do it too much, really much, but we, we do what we can do here. Hey, Putin out! Save Ukraine! Putin out! Save Ukraine! Putin out! Save Ukraine! With ammunition, everything they need, or money, or uh, to go and, and I don't know, fight. Whoever we came, we can do this, and we will support with financial support. But uh, everybody has to be with us because this is the right cause. This is the right thing for humankind. Yes, exactly. This is the right thing to do. Standing on the borders with your gun is not helping the people of Ukraine. Nothing is helping them. Words aren't helping. Obviously, sanctions aren't helping. We need to step up. We need to move forward, put a stop to it. Save Ukraine! Stop war! Save Ukraine! Stop war! Save Ukraine!